Hi everyone, it's teacher Nicole. I decided it's such a nice day that I would come outside to read my story. So I'm sitting out here with Jones. Jonesy, there's Jones. He's sitting out here with me and I'm gonna read you guys a story. Now, the story that I'm gonna read, I checked it out from the library quite a while ago before school was, uh, before we all went on break from school. But it's kind of funny because I thought this book was super relevant to what's going on. Is your house kind of crowded right now? Do you have more people home than they're usually home? That's kind of what this book is about. So this book is called Trixie 10 by Sarah Massini. Now, do you know what Trixie 10 is? We do these at school sometimes, they're thumbprints. So if you look at your thumb, you see it has all these like weird lines like this. That's a thumbprint. If you put your thumb into an ink pad and then you put it on paper, you would get something that looks like this. And then they added arms and legs and a face and some hair. Trixie 10. She says, hello. This is Trixie 10. She has nine brothers and sisters. She thinks they are all very annoying. Wanda 1, achoo, is always sneezing. Thomas 2, hiccup, hiccup. He always has the hiccups. Theo 3, burps loudly. Florence 4 giggles and giggles. <laughs> Felix 5 laughs all the time. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Scarlet 6 bumps into things. Ow! Sammy 7 is always surprised. Wow! Emily 8 has a runny nose, but never, ever a Kleenex. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Nathaniel 9 is the most annoying of all. He likes to pretend to be a lion. And what do the lions say? Roar! That is a lot of brothers and sisters, isn't it? Nine. I had one sister growing up. She doesn't live with me anymore though. At nighttime, to make sure they are all safe and sound and tucked up in their 10 little beds, Trixie and her brothers and sisters count themselves in. Jonesy, come here. Wanda, one, Thomas, two, Theo, three, Florence, four, Felix, five, Scarlett, six, Sammy, seven, Emily, eight, Nathaniel, nine, Trixie, ten. Trixie tries to sleep, but tee hee hee hee, ah ha 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 ha, burp, wow, burp, hick, hick up, hick up. Achoo! Roar! Nine brothers and sisters are so many Trixie size. Hey Jonesy, come here buddy. It isn't any quieter during the day. Nine brothers and sisters are too noisy size Trixie and they take up too much room. It does look kind of crowded there, hon. They're all making their noises. Pick up, pick up. Roar! Hee hee Ow! Wow! Burp, burp. One day, Trixie decides to leave. She packs some useful things into a useful bag. One useful flashlight. One useful teddy bear. One useful blanket. And when no one is looking, she creeps away in search of somewhere quiet. She walks and walks until, hold on. Jonesy, Shh. come back, buddy. Come here, come on. She walks and walks until she comes to a stream. But the stream isn't quiet, it is full of babbling fish. These are my nine brothers and sisters, says a fish. You're very noisy for fish. That's just the way we are, the fish says proudly. Trixie says goodbye to the fish and she walks and walks until she comes to a meadow. What did she find in the meadow? 
a whole bunch of bunnies. So many rabbits, says Trixie. They take up so much room. That's what she was thinking about her brothers and sisters, huh? These are my 99 brothers and sisters, says the rabbit happily. <gasps> Can you imagine having 99 brothers and sisters? That would be a lot of people in one house. Trixie counts them. It takes a long time. Maybe nine brothers and sisters aren't so many after all, she thinks. Trixie says goodbye to the rabbits. She walks and walks until she finds a big, empty, quiet place. Nighttime comes, silent and still. Trixie takes out her useful flashlight. She hugs her useful teddy bear and she counts the spots on her useful blanket. She begins to think about Wanda and Thomas and Theo and Florence and Felix, Scarlett, Sammy, Emily and Nathaniel. She wishes, wishes she had someone to talk to. She wishes she wasn't all alone. Oh, she looks like she's feeling kind of sad. I bet she misses all of her brothers and sisters now. Meanwhile, Trixie's brothers and sisters are counting themselves into bed. Is everyone all tucked in? Everyone safe and sound? Let's see what happens. Wanda, one. Thomas, two. Theo, three. Florence, four. Felix, five. Scarlett, six. Sammy, seven. Emily, eight. Nathaniel, nine. Uh-oh. Where is Trixie, ten? But they're all up and out of bed, wondering where is Trixie, ten? Oh, it is very dark outside and very, very scary. But they bravely go in search of Trixie 10. And look, they're making all their noises. Roar! Tee hee hee hee. Ow! Burp! Wow! Achoo! Roar! Ha 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 ha. All their noises. But they bravely go in search of Trixie 10. They walk and walk until. <gasps> Oh, who's that? It's me, cries Trixie, switching on her useful flashlight. I heard you coming. Please come home, her nine brothers and sisters say. We miss you. I miss you too, says Trixie, a lot. So they all make their noisy way back home and count themselves into bed. Wanda one. Thomas two, Theo three, Florence four, Felix five, Scarlett six, Sammy seven, Emily eight, Nathaniel nine, and Trixie 10. It's just as noisy as usual, but that's the way we are, thinks Trixie, and she drifts happily off to sleep. And look, it looks like Trixie found a solution to all the noise. She found some headphones that she can wear to bed. The end. And see, there's the door right there, and they're all going. <laughs> the end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.